Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing an easy last minute Halloween look with this leopard makeup tutorial. Let's get started. Okay, to start I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way foundation which is medium to full coverage depending on how you apply it. Let me know in the comments if you want to see me review this product and if I get enough feedback I definitely will. Then I'm using the Almay Brow Pencil in Brunette to fill in and shape my eyebrows as I normally would. I apply Max Paint Pot in Soft Ochre as my eyeshadow base all over the eye and up to the brow and then started with this bronzer from Makeup Forever and applied it to the crease with my MAC 217 brush. I was actually really happy with this color because it was the perfect shade for warming up the crease. I also brought this color along the eye's inner crease and dragged it out on the edges to create a winged effect. Then I used the L'Oreal La Palette Nude 1 and this medium brown and layered it over top of the lash shade, focusing it to the outer edge of the eye. Then I used the color next to it, which was more of a chocolate brown with a pencil brush, and placed it deep in the hollow of the eye to start defining the look. I'm not taking this shadow in too far, just keeping it to one half of the lid. Then I took a black shadow with that same pencil brush and applied it over top, focusing the color to the outer half of the eye. I blended it with the MAC 217 brush right away after applying it to make sure it was blended, and now you're going to see the shadows really come together and pop. Then I used the gold with a flat synthetic brush and applied it to the lid, just patting it on, bringing the color up to the crease, but making sure not to go above to get that dramatic cut crease effect. Then I used a liquid liner to draw my usual wing liner, except for this look I'm making the line thicker and longer to make the eyes more bold. I also took a gel liner and angled brush to make sure I filled in all the spaces in my waterline missing black and to perfect the edges of the liner. I applied a few coats of mascara and then applied the SL Miss Glam Full On Glam Lashes and these were perfect for this look because they're more full on the outer corners, giving you that cat eye effect. Then I went in with my Kevin Aquan Skin Enhancer and applied that underneath the eyes to conceal and brighten and then blended it in with this cute mini beauty blender. I love this little thing. And then I also used the Skin Enhancer along the bridge of the nose, underneath the nose, the chin and forehead. To set everything, I used the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Medium Plus and went over the whole face. And then for the lower lash line, I used the Gel Liner and Angled Brush again and applied the black to the outer third of the eye, connecting it to my wing. And then I used the mix of the Shimmery Dark Brown and Coppery Brown and applied it over top with the pencil brush, making sure not to drag the color too close to the tear duct because I'm going to go back in with the gold there instead to make the eyes really pop. Then I'm using Max Give Me Sun with an angled powder brush along my cheeks, onto the temples, and along my hairline to bronze up the face. This bronzer is super warm so it worked really good for this look, but if you're using it for every day, you just need a touch of it. Then I used NYX's Terracotta Blush and applied it to the apples of my cheeks for a bit of color. And then for highlighter, I used this gold one from the Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Duo and applied it to the tops of the cheekbones. Now for the leopard marks, I started and then realized my camera wasn't recording, but all I've done so far was use a brown shadow and dab spots on my face. Then I took a fluffy blending brush and went over them to blur them out a bit. Then I used a shimmery bronze shadow and applied it over top of all the spots. This was all trial and error because I was coming up with it as I went along, but now if you're doing this at home, save yourself some time and apply this color to the face first wherever you'll be applying your spots. I then went back in with the brown shadow and redefined my spots and then used the gold from the Makeup Forever Flash Palette and added it to the center of the spots. It doesn't necessarily have to be bang on center, just adding color and texture to the design. Now I used a liquid liner and started to draw lines around the spots and you don't want to connect the lines, you just want to make them on one side. It's almost like you're drawing on squiggly seeds. After this, I just went back in with the brown shadow and the gold cream to perfect the design and make it how I wanted it to look, and I also added a few dots throughout the design to make the leopard marks look more realistic. And then I wanted to add a little bit more, so I brought the spots down onto the neck, and I just repeated those steps, and it was super easy and quick the second time around, because once you have the design down, it takes no time. 
Now for lips, I went for a red because I thought it looked great with these colors. I used a red lip liner to line and fill in the lips and then used NYX's Soft Matte Lip Cream in Monte Carlo on top to add a little bit more punch. For my final touch, I used a bit of the gold highlighter and dabbed it onto the cupid's bow, and that's the face. Now time for my hair. I had curled my hair earlier that morning and pinned it all up, and that's what they look like. And then when I took them out, they made the most perfect spiral curls. Oh my god, look at these curls! I brushed them all out with my fingers to loosen them up and give me that perfect wild mane that this leopard makeup needed. And that's my look. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, go ahead and give the video a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed to see new videos. If you recreate this look, make sure you hashtag Trina Dura on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, wherever you post so I can see. And I will catch you in my next video. Happy Halloween!